Straight up. Oh. Oh, very skinny. Do you want to grab these? Oh, God. Oh, no, I don't. Dak! Mate, oh, have you yeah. ever done it before? I, as soon as I touch him... Oh, man, he's psycho! How do you manhandle him? Hold the leader, bruh! Come on, mate, this is getting silly. He's supposed to be a <laughs> Oh, very shallow. Just reversing. Oh, yeah, is that how you do it? He's not small. <laughs> he's good. Jack Avery, second fish, first one on the reef. We've made it out to the reef, as you can see. We've had a bit of a tough run since we've been here trying to find the fish because the tide is slack. We found a little bit, bit of bait. I just hooked a big trout on the um, big floating stick boat, pulled hooks, Jack cast the other way. Constant boil behind the lure for five minutes and the GT's going really mental over here. And Jack called it tiny, but it's actually quite good. Hey, 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 hey. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Vibrating tuna. There you go. That's fish number, let me come over this side and turn. That's fish number four, two each. Nice little fella. Is my camera on? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, what? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, and again. Come on, eat it. Oh, he's right there. Eat it. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the rat! I hit my shin so hard, man. <laughs> I hit my shin so hard, Jack. Fourth. Fourth. It's hurting so badly. It's hurting so badly, man. Okay. <laughs> oh. I don't want to hit my shin again. Uh. Oh. Oh. oh! What? Is that normal? <laughs> I don't think you understand how big it is. <laughs> like dead set. He's got one eye, man. Feel it, man. <laughs> Just gently. <laughs> Can you get a shot of him for me? He's got a bit of reef in here. Is that a hook? No, it's a bit of crab. That's a hook, dude. That is a hook. That's a hook. This GT has been hooked before. Jack just pulled an old, rusty piece of hook out of his head. And look at this, his eye's gone. Is it, is it on? Yeah. yeah. In on his eye. With the luring shot as well. Yeah, Woo. Okay. All right, just, you know how then I was whinging about my shin? Can you look at that? Please. Look at that lump. I hit my shin on that when the fish hit. And it's full on hematoma level 10. You going back, mate? Alright. I hope your eye gets better, buddy. Whew. Great barrier reef, mate. What are we on? We're sitting on. We're sitting on five GTs for the day so far. Biggest over 40 kilos. And this, we've just arrived on the reef that we are going to eventually anchor on for the night. So we're gonna fish this and then we're gonna move to another one for the late afternoon session. Then we're gonna anchor on this one tonight. And she's gonna be rather good. Last time Jack fished this particular spot, he was just telling me he drifted the edge of the reef and got a GT every cast. So how long? Hour. For an hour, every cast for an hour, he caught a GT. I'm on here. That was the mentalist strike. Man. Oh, that has got. Oh, how's that squid? You just grabbed the lure. See you, mate. How 
How good's the flats, man? Did you see them all like all those little jimmies heckling my lure then? Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Good fish. Come on. What are you? What are you? Oh, Emperor. Nah, it's like one of those, I think it's called a yellow tailed one or some shit. Cool fish. He's pooing, he's pooing. He's pooing. He's pooing. He's pooing all over the front of the boat. Two fish and two casts. Good. Nice little fish. We have a world first here. You're not gonna believe this, but Jack Avery's actually put down the heavy setup. He's picked up a light setup and he's caught a fish that isn't a GT. Can you believe it? Are you a light? Flats fisherman. I'm not a lot flats fisherman. Look at that. Big spango on Tristan's lure. That's the second time I've ever cast that lure. Missing at sea. 120 mil death bubble. Sink. Good eye. Cracking. Can you hold your fish up please? You can get the I don't want the like oh, oh fuck. Last time I Here. Last time I pulled this with Tristan's lure. Ah! Ah! It's yeah, not in me. No. It's not in me. I was just like, here, just do this. Bang. So he's a stonking spango, man. Oh, can you just pick him up? <laughs> Upside down spango. He's a solid spango. Hold on. Hey, he's... No, 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 over this way. He's a cracker. Look at the colour in him. That's right, give me closer. Blues. No, you're going in the shade. Really sick. That's sick. Very nice, Spangled Emperor, mate. Jack. Oh, I'm gonna beef him back. There you go. Ow. Oh. Got him. Well done. <sighs> What's he doing? Very foul. <laughs> Round the wrong way. <laughs> Oh, hold on. Oh. Come on! In two cars! Did you see that? Strike? I was just saying, I don't think I want another one straight away. And then it just went boom. I don't even think I um, popped it then. As soon as it hit the water. No gunnel rule, man. Minor adjustment. Oh, he's all right. He's not bad, Jack! He's big, man! Ah, oh, stop it! He's good! Oh. Woo. There we go. Have a look at that. That lure, first time I've used it, and it's all good. Like pretty big. It's pretty thick. Good for reef fish. Yeah, quality reef fish. There we go. He's getting heavier. He's getting heavier. Oh, he's a. I've never smelled a GT smell like that. Can you smell him? Yeah. He's like off. He's really fishy. Bye-bye. That's 
Six. Six. Week. That's oh. a smelly GT. Do you want another one? Yeah. Yeah, right. I do. Right. Go over here. there. Yeah, we'll go up here and get another yeah. one. All right. Okay, here we go. I've just had two hookups in two cars. This is the third car it's going three from three. And I've missed the bait. Ready? Right. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Gone. Oh yeah. He's still on there. Really? My handle was winding backwards, man. Seven. That's seven. Mate. Eyeball. Let's show the advantages of barbless hooks. You see that? That's three and three casts, mate. You could do four, I reckon. You reckon we could do four? Yeah, there's another, like, right there. You reckon we should do it right? There, so get rid of him. Okay, we'll just get rid of him. I'll say 17. Oh, there's another. Yeah, right, right here. I won't even turn it off. Okay. Just, just keep keep going as is. Oh, we better cast quick. Yeah, be on yeah, top yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Look at that pile too. Oh, that, do that one. That one? Yeah. Oh, a bit to the oh, left. Oh, a little bit more to the right. I might duff the number four. Nah, no, he'll, he'll be there. You think you'll be there? I don't know. How many must there be? Right, dead set. You come to Australia to go. Oh, oh! You just. Oh! Here he is! Come on! Here he is. Eat it! Eat it right there. Fuck. Fuck. Quickly, cast again. That was no. Oh, man. <laughs> what was this, man? You come to Australia to go GT fishing, and you don't go to the Great Barrier Reef. This is where it's at. Wait. I'm on a trip, man. Yeah, you don't want that, this to happen when you're on the Great Barrier Reef and you're 100 nautical miles off the coast and you don't have another reel for GTs and you're GT fishing and it's going mental right now and then your handle falls off. You know? Shimano? Anyway, so what we're doing, we're still just peppering the same zone, or Jack's peppering the same zone, because my handle fell off, and he's probably about to hook up in about half a second. What are you saying? Yeah, but what are you saying by the way you're saying that? Like, doggy? Are you doggying it? Can you land it, please, if you think it's a doggy? Jack? It really ate it like a GT. My stomach is so sore, I can't like rest the rod butt against my gut. What from? A little GT earlier on. Just a little one, eh? Oh, right, that was pretty funny. There was like the smallest little thing of fusies. Oh, this looks quite good. Bang. It's not a bad fish. That's, is that eight, eight for us for the day? Eight, we need to do 10. We need, to do we need at least 10 for the day. At least. I said 50 this morning. <laughs> In two days, you said it. Oh, okay. We could catch 40 tomorrow. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's right. <laughs> we could catch 40 tomorrow, though. Are you gonna give him a weight? No, like how heavy do you reckon he is? 15, maybe. Oh, yeah, that's good. Come back this way. Turn, head this way. Very nice fish. Yeah. 
There we go, end of the first day's fishing. We finished with eight GTs, one over 40 kilos, my big one around 30-ish, and heaps of trout, big spango for Jackie. And yeah, we've just anchored, and there is no one anywhere, anywhere near us. It's pretty wild, really. Wild feeling. You can't see the land. All you can see is water and sky and clouds and fish. We're cooking snags for dinner. I'm tired as I've ever been in my life. I'm sore as because I haven't fished heavy here in like a month. Does it really get any better than this shit, mate? Look at this. Snags on the go. The good living. We just had a talk about tiger sharks and being lost at sea on the reef overnight. Good morning guys, welcome back. Um, we're gonna continue with the sponsor chat thing and today we're gonna talk about these. My electric sunglasses. In the Tasline video that I put up, a lot of people were asking questions about sunglasses in the comments so I thought I'd do this one next and this morning, we're gonna call one of the guys that works for Electric and we're gonna get a bit more tech info on them. I don't know the tech info, Matt. I just kinda of use them and see how they go. But one thing I have found, these are dirty as, but the blue lens out in the blue water on the reef and stuff, really good. The bronze lens seems to be really good in the fresh and in that kind of dirtier water situation. So that's just my opinion. I don't know if that's totally true or not that's what i've found with them there's all obviously they make it electric make a whole lot of different sunnies and um i think that's one one thing i really like about them is that you can have all these kinds of different sunnies and still kind of look kind of steezy mate because that's the most important thing isn't it we'll give klein a call this is todd klein everybody you. what's your role todd Watching my house day in and day out, that's my role. <laughs> uh, normally I'm a, uh, a fishing guide here in Southern California, and then I, uh, I do tournaments as well for bass fishing, and then I uh, help out the boys at Electric uh, overseeing their, their fishing uh, program with, uh, with all the ambassadors and giving them input and marketing. Sweet, uh, so for everyone at home, Todd's the basically the guy I deal with at Electric. When I was over in the States, we caught up for the first time. He gave me the tour of the Electric office and went and had lunch and stuff. And it was cool to like um, actually meet the guys and hang out for the first time, I guess, because we've been doing stuff together for a little while now. And the purpose of this video is to give you guys a bit of an insight into the sunglasses. And Todd's going to give us a few tech like uh, insights. And we're going to talk a bit of shit, as we always do as well. I talk about it in the videos sometimes, but I don't really know what I'm on about in terms of the tech aspects and the lenses and the polarization and all that sort of stuff. So my basic gist of it is, and I've said this to the camera before, like those blue lens ones, they're the, um, I think they're the Knoxville. They're the ones I use mostly when I'm like GT fishing in the blue water. Yep. And then... Those ones with the brown, the bronze lens I've been using in most of the freshwater stuff and the low light. Is that right? Yeah, yeah that's, that's pretty, I mean, and again, everybody's eyes are going to be a little bit different, Johnny. So what maybe you suggest or I suggest guys may go, hey, man, that doesn't work for me. Yeah. Um, but you're pretty spot on as far as, you know, what I've experienced as well as, you know, the other anglers that are using our product. Yeah. Um, the other thing that's super cool, Johnny, we got to get you a pair because I don't think we've got them to you yet because they just came out. Is that yellow? It's got a blue blue tint on it, but it's a yellow low light. Yeah, and, right. Um, this is in the new Mahi style. This is a, a smoke frame here. And yeah. this lens right here for, for us, especially on the freshwater. Yeah. Um, a lot of times we're, we're in tournaments. Um, and I know you know you fish a lot too, even on the backwaters over there, and it's, it's raining. Um, you might have a, a front going by. And this low light yellow lens is unbelievable. One of the uh, the top uh, BASS elite guys, Chris Albane, he worked with us on this as far as getting that that low light yellow lens to like 
the best it can be. Yeah, right. I, I actually wear this lens a lot of times, even all day, Johnny, because I'll start in the morning, and as you know, um, our lenses are infused with uh, melanin. Yeah. Melanin is what's natural in your skin, and it's actually something proprietary that somehow science has figured out. They can inject it into the lens, so it's basically like sunscreen for, for your eyes. Yeah, right. And my my theory is because you know some guys go, how, how can you wear yellow lenses all day long? My theory is, and again, everybody's eyes are different. Yeah. But I think because of that melanin, it allows your eyes to relax. Yeah, right. Things are really popping, you know. But right now, over here in the, in the United States, for the bass, it's actually on the you know springtime is the spawn. Yeah. So you're looking for those fish in the shallows. You're looking for those beds. Yeah. And you know the, the, these this lens right here will pop them. And, yeah. Uh, that's one that I, I really love wearing right now and, and a lot of the other guys uh, you know on the program as well as we're getting a lot of feedback through our social media and then online talking about how much people love that low light lens and it was something that was in the works for almost a good year and a half possibly two years yeah but to finally get it out there and get the response it was well worth the wait yeah right well that that'd probably be because the I guess the barramundi stuff in the dam is pretty similar to your um, bass spawning on those little weed beds and stuff so yeah. That's probably a so really good one. Yeah. The other thing too, Johnny, you know, in all these lenses, you know, um, it's just for different lighting. Yeah. But you know, the key thing, you know, you would know this firsthand, but, you know, for some of those that are watching, you know, maybe trying to get some insight on fishing as a whole, polarized lenses, it's 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 not an accessory, it's a necessity. Definitely. Because, you know, when you're fishing, you not only want to try and see the fish if you can, but whether you're out GT fishing, you want to see those dark spots signifying that there's reef. You yeah. Know what I mean? Yeah. Um, for us, for freshwater, it's like I want to see that one bush and make the perfect cast. Yeah. The fit. You don't have polarized lenses. It's like you know diving without a mask. You might see something here and there, but you're not going to get. The oh fish. man, I, I I see it all the time when I fish with like um. Even when I take Gemma fishing or the last Barramundi trip I did, the guy that came to film, Sam, he had really bad sunglasses and I gave him the rod to try and get one and he could see nothing. So we had to go back to the car, get another pair of sunnies and then it was like he could, he could see and he was on. So it's a real bloody, definite, definitely a thing. And you're putting yourself at a disadvantage without a good pair of sunnies. As I mentioned, you know, guiding over here, I have clients all the time, and I'm like, go pitch. And she's right there, pitch, pitch. And yeah. finally I can tell that, that, that the individual can't see the fish. I go, do me a favor. I'm like, try these on for me. And they're like, oh my gosh, it's right there. And I'm like, yeah. I made a few notes here. Um, you know, the, co the company started in 2000, so it's been around a while. And, um, you know, it, it went public for a while. Now it's an independent company, yeah. a private company. Um, and it's just a you know a great group of guys you got to and girls you got to meet a lot of the people you know, yeah yeah, yeah. And, and uh you know just in it for the right reasons and, and you know even recently they they donated some goggles to a local hospital and you know even obviously it's challenging times for all of us and uh it would it would be nice to to make the money but at the same token it's always good to give where you can yeah man it's, that that was really cool that what so that that was snow goggles huh yeah, snow goggles, and, and um, you know, it, as you know, it's it's tough to get you know, um, you know, different medical products right now. So if, if they can, you know, if we can supply something that'll help, you know, well, why why not? Um, yeah. So yeah, I'll, I'll jump through a few things here. You know, I mentioned that the melanin uh, infused in the lenses. The other is, uh, you know, we'll go through kind of some of these these tints. Uh, so that was the the low light yellow with the blue uh, blue blue on the top there. Yeah. And then. Um, You've got the, uh, that was the one you've got with the, uh, that's the, the blue, it's got, it's got the blue mirror on it, but it's gray. Yeah, 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 I've got those ones here. This is the stacker, which is a, a huge favorite amongst, uh, you know, a lot of people, but especially the, the anglers. I think that's the one Mikey was wearing. You can pump, you can pump the, the mask right off of there yeah. if you want to run it without it, but you throw that on there and it gives you really good coverage from all the elements you know as well as kind of blocking out that sun yeah because that, that's a big thing I, I used to like when i used to fish off the rocks a lot casting for tuna if you cover those sides where that light's coming in you can see even better so that little um mesh shade there's really really good another thing all the all of our lenses are are uh, the polarization 
filter is injected into the lenses, it doesn't peel. You see some of the others that are peeled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, that's how they're able to, you know, you'll see, you know, our, ours are obviously, it's a premium product, but it comes at a premium price. Yeah. You'll see, you'll see cheaper options out there, but they're just not going to hold up and they're not going to give you the, the clarity that, that ours will. This is the, uh, this is the uh, Knoxville XLS. And so the, the, the S stands for sport. It's got a coating on the ear so it doesn't, you know, fall off your face when you're looking in the water as easy. Yeah, and I've got that. So the same, same deal, you know? Yeah. And all, all the lenses that I'm showing you here is the, it's the Polarized Pro, which is the, the top, you know, top lens. And the Polarized Pro lens has an anti-reflective on the inside, anti-water, and anti-oil on the outside. So obviously it eliminates the glare coming through the back. But yeah. The problem, you know, the other coatings there really allows you to wipe off, whether it be sunscreen, fish guts, whatever. It's yeah. Just, it'll clean up real easy yeah. having those coatings on there. Yeah. Um, and then last but not least, this is one that's been going nuts, is the JJF12. Yeah, right. That's the John John one. Yeah. So, you know, John John working with uh, Eric Crane and our design team. Eric Crane is our, uh, our CEO, but they worked on this for a while. And, uh, you know, similar to some of the other, you know, styles we offer, it's got that killer cupping on the side. Yeah. He's actually removed too. You know, if you want, you can pop them on and off. Yeah. So you can run it without it. But That's good. Side there, it just it just blocks that glare, and then again, you don't get the wind coming in. And yeah, it's a, a really sick style. I might need a pair of them, Kleine. <laughs> I might know someone that can get you some. That'd be great. Um, and what what's one question? I guess is pretty that people have asked me as well is um, what's the I don't know if you know this, but glass versus plastic lens. So glass is going to be heavier. Glass is going to be the clearest possible there yeah. is. You run the risk of, especially while we're fishing, anything hits, it can break. It's glass. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so some guys prefer them. Um, I don't wear them. They're a little heavier, and I just don't want that risk. You know, if I pitch in and I've got a jig and, and I get bit and it comes flying out and hits, I don't want glass in my eye. Yeah. But again it's it's all just preference yeah um, no because they're definitely a lot heavier high it, it adds some weight for yeah. sure you yeah. know and again um some people don't mind it you know i think a big thing here and i get a, i get a lot of messages and comments about it is like there's obviously a few sunglass brands in australia and um it's really hard for people to find something that still looks good and it doesn't look like you're wearing a welding mask, you know what I mean? Because forever, the fishing style, especially in Australia, has just been really psycho. Um, yeah, like, full on, they, you, you wear them fishing, but you would never wear them, like, yeah. to lunch or something, you know what I mean? So, uh, a lot of the comments I get from people, they like them because they're actually, like, a stylish, good-looking pair of sunnies as well. And I, that's kind of what it started as, eh? Electric. Yeah, no, I'm glad you brought that up, Johnny, because that's what, you know, I, I, just like you, I grew up, you know, around surfing and that was my world, you know, I used to do it for a living and so... You were on the, were you on the world tour? No, 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 let's not get carried away, I used to do the QS. Yeah. But, uh, but um, you know, so, so, you know, I, again, you know, I, I'm, I'm a little older now, but I still, you know, I like a little style and, and um, I, I have known Eric Crane, who's our CEO for, for a long time and... You know, I, I used to check out all the brands within the action sports world as well as, you know, the brands in the fishing world. Yeah. So I, I called Eric one time and I'm like, dude, your product is premium and it's got style. I'm like, no one in the market right now in the fish world yeah. has both of those elements. And yeah. I'm like, have you ever thought about talking to that world? Because guys are already wearing it, you know, guys that surf, guys that snowboard, guys that, you know, skate, like... And they're starting to, you know, fish more and more. Yeah. Like, let, let's talk to them, man. Let's let them know that we offer this product. And so, uh, you know, I think it's going on like four years now that we've, you know, kind of been going into that fish market. Yeah. And then start to, to make adjustments, you know, now with that yellow low light lens and, and uh, you know, catering, you know, products that offer a little bit more, you know, um, yeah. Gu uh, guard from the, from the elements. But, you know, the product was kind of already there. It was just yeah. a matter of actually letting, you know, anglers know that it was there. And so, you know, there's been a movement here in Southern California over the last couple of years where you're getting a lot more kids and kind of, 
you know that the the, the twenties. A lot of those guys starting to fish more, but yeah. they, they are surfers, they are skaters, they are snowboarders, and so the brand's been thriving, and it's it's been really fun to watch. And you know, I grew up in Florida originally, which you know for me I think's a, a, a more similar to Australia than, than what California is. Yeah, and in the fact that everybody that at least where I grew up in Florida, everybody fished, everybody surfed. You know, yeah, it's like if, if you surfed, you fished. Same here. When I moved to California and I used to work at Quicksilver back in the day, it was like, I almost felt like I had to hide it. Like, <laughs> nobody fish. I'm like, you do what? And I'm like, yeah, I fish, you know? And over the last couple of years out here, it's become a bit of a trend. And now it's like, oh, that guy fishes. He's cool. And it's like, <laughs> but whatever, you know, I, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm stoked to see, you know, see kids getting outdoors and actually, you know, seeing what's available as far as, you know, what, what California has to offer, whether it be freshwater or, or saltwater. It's like, you know, it, it's pretty good. Yeah, the, the tuna fishing's really good there, huh? Tuna fishing's good. Yeah, yeah. but it's it, it's it's gotten uh, more and more consistent. But it used to be super seasonal. Yeah. And now it's like they don't leave. You know, so it's you know you get a lot of bluefin, a lot of yellowfin. Yeah. Uh, it's it's pretty amazing. You got to so, get out there, mate. That's work, bro. Yeah. I like, sip on, I like to sip on coffee sitting on my bass boat. Yeah. <laughs> For me, anyway, one thing I wanted to um, touch on is like. When I was a kid, man, and this is no bullshit here, I used to draw electric logos on my school books and stuff. That's cool. Dead set. And now I get to, um, like, I guess represent um, electric. And I, it's for me, it's bloody, it's pretty cool. So I'm super stoked and proud to, um, to do stuff with you guys as well because it's not only good, but the whole concept of, what it is and where it came from is pretty cool with the surfing and all that sort of stuff and that's just like like you as well like you said it's um surfing and fishing go hand in hand so yeah no it's you know and, and, and the, the feelings mutual from our brand standpoint dude we we love having you on board johnny and you're you're an epic ambassador and and uh yeah i mean it's in our dna you know what i mean so to be able to represent a brand that you know we live and breathe it's yeah easy to you know and and uh, you know i've worked with other brands in the past you know from a sponsorship perspective and you realize you know what it's like i don't really use this product or i don't oh yeah it. and you make those those changes but when when it all comes together man it's it's great for all parties yeah so oh for sure and i think that that's even like doing a video like this i wouldn't be doing a video like this for a product that I didn't think was good because I don't want people to go out and buy something and spend money on yeah. something and it's a, and it doesn't work or it falls apart or something like that. So because people do that kind of stuff and then they lose all their integrity. So yeah, it's kind of one of those things where it's pretty rad to be able to stand behind something and the people be good as well because that's the biggest thing for me. One of the things you know that I want to I want to pass on to everybody is is right now uh, we're we're doing a special on our website you know electriccalifornia.com. And we are delivering to Australia now and New Zealand, thirty percent off. So, oh, really? Yeah. So, so good opportunity. Obviously, you know, it's going to cost a little more for shipping, but with uh, with thirty with thirty percent off, you know, it'll it'll make up for the shipping and then some. Yeah, for sure. That's amazing. How weird is this, by the way? That like, this is what it's come to now, where we're filming videos over a. Uh, Instagram video call. <laughs> yeah, I've never actually. Uh, I think. I think uh, we're gonna try and do it in the next couple of days. But I'm gonna try and go live with uh, Eric, who's the CEO for Electric. Yeah. Um, he's gonna take us through like all the tech stuff. Yeah. Um, and then I'll I'll just kind of talk about the the lenses and how you know how I utilize them and that type of thing. But we're gonna do that on Electric Fish. Yeah. But I've never done I've never done any live stuff. So that's where I I thought we were, and I'm like. I didn't know, you know. <laughs> nah, you were good, man. I didn't even know that you yeah. thought that we were alive. I think this is the, definitely the best way, though, where you can cut it out and if there's any bad bits, because I go live on Instagram and I end up just rambling on about all kinds of different stuff and saying things I regret. It's just like live broadcast or webcast. Well, you've had a bit of an experience with that, haven't you? <laughs> a couple of them. A couple of them. Somebody who's not even competing against that caliber of service ahead of hundred of us on the on the one world ratings. They never been here. They never fucking made the right surf against <laughs> Oh man, that's so funny. Todd's gotta go back to normal life. I gotta start editing this video, but I wanna say a big thank you to you mate for coming on board and giving us a bit of info.
Yeah, and no, I want to thank you, Jody, for the opportunity and uh, also just say, hey, thanks for everything you do for uh, the sport of fishing and getting uh, kids psyched to go out, you know, outdoors and get put those damn games down. And uh, thanks for everything you do for electric too, man. No worries, mate. Thank you for having me. It's been rad. That's about it, eh? <laughs> thanks heaps, bro. I'll talk to you soon. See ya, brother. You too, mate. Take it easy. Bye-bye. Bye. Alrighty. That's Mr. Todd Klein. As he said, right now, if you go on electriccalifornia.com, you get 30% off your sunnies, mate.